Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Knights Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to do a really tough video. This one is the top five figures currently in my collection. Now before we get going I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. We are about 75 subscribers away from 4,000 so I'm really excited to hit that milestone and when I do we're going to be doing a giveaway. So you're gonna wanna be a part of that, so don't miss out. Ring the bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. All right, top five in my collection. Again, this is really tough. It's like picking your favorite children. You just don't do it, right? They're all like equally loved, but um, I just thought it'd be cool to kind of like go through them and, and see what figures are my favorite, which ones I'd, I'd never likely sell, and you know, just the ones that I think are the best, at least currently, and this could change a month down the road, six months down the road, or even a year, so who knows. I just want to let you guys know, there aren't any Marvel figures on this list. So again, I love all of my figures, they are all great, and I'd love to have them all on this list, but Marvel is like the franchise that I always look at if I had to give away or sell some of my stuff. Marvel would likely go first even though I really like it um, it just doesn't hold a candle to Star Wars or you know Batman stuff like that even like Robocop or Terminator I've just been watching that stuff since I was a kid and I love Marvel but I've just been getting into Marvel since the last like three or four years so if you're if you're bummed about that stick with this because my my almost six-year-old wanted to do this too and she has some favorites that are Marvel and she wants to do a video with me so hopefully uh, I think that'd be fun to do and so hopefully you guys like that but she does have some Marvel so if you're into that you know stay tuned for that now these figures are not gonna be in any particular order because it's hard enough just picking five that I love let alone ranking them one to five you know picking one figure in all of this collection that is just my most favorite it's really really tough so we're gonna have two honorable mentions and then I'm gonna talk about my top five and kind of why they're in this list so without further ado let's get going with those honorable mentions the first honorable mention is going to be Robocop again I feel dirty for not having this in my top five I feel dirty for having some figures not even on the list entirely so I get it but um, Robocop is gonna be up there because it's a well, it's a work of art it's it's an older figure but it was amazingly done by Hot Toys the um, the likeness is there to Peter Weller it's die cast so it's a hefty figure it's the proportions look great it's got great articulation for the most part um, it comes with battle damage pieces. It's a one of a kind. So that is why this would be an honorable mention on my list. My next honorable mention, and we're throwing some smoke here, is Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars A New Hope. Again, I was, I was fighting to get this on the list because it is such a great figure. But I think what was holding me back is Obi-Wan isn't one of my most favorite characters. Even though this figure is amazing. So... I think um, the likeness to Alec Guinness is amazing. Another one of the head sculpts that probably doesn't get enough recognition, um, but it's really, really good. The outfit is really good. He doesn't come with a lot, but he comes with enough. It's He comes with the cloak and the hood and the lightsaber and some hands. So um, it's just a really good representation of Obi-Wan Kenobi. All right, guys, let's start with number five. Again, no particular order, but it's gonna be the first figure that I ever bought, and it's the BVS Batman. This is the figure that got me into Hot Toys, so how could I not have this in my top five? It's a figure that I love because I love the portrayal that Ben Affleck did of Batman. It's my kind of Batman where I love the beefy, the short ears, you know, the, the awesome cowl, and he's just kind of that mean Batman that kind of stopped giving a crap a while ago. Um, and he uses guns, you know, he's violent. Um, so he's like the beast. I love this Batman, so that's why he would be in my top five favorite figures, and there is some sentimental value there as well. Number four is actually gonna be a really new figure that I didn't think I needed, and I didn't think would ever be on a list like this, but it's the Chrome Mandalorian. I love this figure, and I love everything he comes with. This thing could have easily been a DX release. 
You get the uh, Beskar Spear. You get the Dark Saber. You get the pouch that holds Grogu. You get um, in the deluxe. You get the um, the the, uh, the swoop bike bar that holds all of, like Boba Fett's armor and, and stuff like that. Um, he comes with you know his rifle and his pistol, but most of all, he comes with the chrome plated armor, and it really does stand out. It really steals the show in the um, in the case, and it looks really good. Mando is one of my favorite Star Wars characters, especially as of late. I think the show is so much fun, and I, you know, it's just a lovable character. He and Grogu together look great. I, I really love the satchel with Grogu in it, but then the Darksaber and everything and him holding the Beskar Spear. Total package figure. Looks great. I can't wait to see if they can try to outdo themselves, but this figure is definitely going to be in my top five right now. Number three is going to be a miscellaneous figure, and this one comes from my childhood. This is the Terminator from Terminator 2, the DX-13. You're pretty much getting two figures here. This, so Mando should have been a DX. This one is for sure a DX. You get a bunch of weapons. You get um, two battle damage head sculpts of the Terminator, and the likeness to Arnold Schwarzenegger is superb. I think the battle damage itself is really what what takes me back to this movie but also just really interests me about the figure just the detail in the head sculpt you can see the machine and the blood underneath and the bullet holes everywhere and the the knee is all beat up and you can replace the arm with the one that's you know torn off um he comes with an extra coat you know so like for that shortened arm he comes with um an extra t1000 kind of like mold that you can have him kind of punching through and stuff so this thing is packed to the nine. The likeness is awesome. Again, another older figure, but it looks really awesome and it has really stood the test of time. Number two is going to be the Joker DX8. How could I have a list and not have the Joker? This was the easiest one to put on the list. The Jack Nicholson DX8 from 1989 Batman. I love the purple outfit. He also, again, DX, comes with a ton of stuff, comes with a bunch of accessories. The likeness to Jack Nicholson is really good, although I do think the DX-14, the Mime Joker, I think that head sculpt's a little bit better, but it's newer as well, so it is what it is. But this one is still really awesome. This was the first movie I saw in the theater with my dad. Um, I was four years old, so this movie takes me way back. I think it aged really well, too. I think it's still a good movie. And uh, I love this figure a lot. All right, guys, number one of the top five figures currently in my collection is going to be the Emperor. Again, I watched The Return of the Jedi growing up. This figure means a lot to me. And I think I've seen a lot of pictures where the hood is pushed back too far and it's not right. But there is a wire in the hood. And I think if you get it just right, like you see here, how the movie portrayed it, I think the likeness gets that much better because you're hiding some of the Emperor. I think the sculpt itself is good, but once you put the hood on and you do it right, it looks amazing. I love the um, the tailoring on this outfit. I love the old hands and how you kind of get them looking like that old man pose. Comes with the throne, which is an amazing accessory. Unfortunately, I don't use it too often anymore just because I want um, symmetry in my collection, so I want everybody to be standing and kind of have their own space. So when I put the throne in, it's a little, it throws it off a little bit, but it is still amazing. It lights up. Um, this thing I got for a steal I got years ago under retail, and now he is just shot up in price. But the Emperor is one of the most badass villains of all time, and, and I wanted to have my Darth Vader in here, but I think the only reason that I couldn't have my, my Rogue One Vader is because... Maybe because he's not one of a kind. Like, there's other Vaders too, so like... If I didn't, like, I love this Vader, but if I didn't have him in my collection, I could get another Vader. The Emperor is a one of a kind, and, and that's why he's in here. Um, same thing with the Joker, for the most part. Terminator, you know, from Terminator 2, there's a couple of them, but I don't know. Something about a Darth Vader I'm, that maybe there's so many that I could get somewhere else. So, I don't know. That's just kind of my thought process. Like I said, this was really hard, and I felt like I kept talking myself into circles trying to decide... Which figure belongs on this list and which figure doesn't. So it's a really tough exercise, but I hope it brought you guys some entertainment. Maybe um, maybe uh, let you learn a little bit more about me and kind of what makes me tick. Um, there was, <clears throat> excuse me, 
there was the Batmobile, the 89 Batmobile, that I really wanted to get on this list too. But in order to keep the list short, I decided it's going to be figures only, so vehicles didn't count. But otherwise, that 89 Batmobile is one of my favorite pieces in the collection. It really... It really stands out, but it really just steals the show as well. So, you know, Marvel, it was tough not getting Yondu or even like a Thanos in here. Um, you know, um, yeah, Gamora. But I think it just came down to, A, I can only have five. B, I love Star Wars and Batman so much um, that Marvel just kind of got pushed to the side. But again, my daughter loves a lot of characters, so she wants to do a video with me. So I hope you guys are interested in that and would look forward to that because it's it's going to be some fun, I hope. I, I You never know what's going to come out of a five-year-old's mouth, so I think that's going to be the fun factor. But um, let me know in the comments below what is your top five in your collection right now. If you have a smaller collection, it might be easier. If you have a large collection, it might be a lot tougher. But I still think it's fun to think about, and even though this could change tomorrow, this is where I'm feeling today. So let me know what you guys think of my list. But I also want to hear your list in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.